Hello Internet, it's Zeg and Zeg alone back in Factorio again. Uh, I was thinking about what I was actually planning on doing next because I got halfway through building this station that's going to be my main smelter, but then I thought that since it's going to be quite a long time building all that and moving all this and planning out a new lab and everything, I figured I should probably get some amount of blue science going. Which means I need advanced circuits, which means I need some amount of plastic, which means I need to build an oil thing. So I was thinking I would probably build a little mini oil refinery down here, probably just one refinery, and then basically just make plastic directly, uh, use this copper and this iron to make the green circuits and the copper wire, and just make red circuits down here, and then... Uh, manually haul them back up to base and dump them into the labs probably about here on this on this gap in the belt so that will give me some blue science so that's probably the plan and i think most of that is going to be uh yet more sped up footage because it's not that interesting but we'll see well no actually i think i'll go down there first and see see what the situation is with oil. I don't think oil has changed that much in this version apart from all the fl fluid trains and how I for resources. Yeah, we're probably okay. Fluid trains and being able to barrel everything. And I guess I'll probably also need to run a power line down here now that I think about it. Should have done that first. Okay, so we need three pump jacks, a refinery. I can't really do anything with heavy oil and, and light oil yet, can we? Apart from maybe make flame for ammo. Do I have. Yeah, flame for ammo. Although flame for ammo takes steel. Hmm. Or I can just dump it in some storage tanks. Oh, I'm going to need engines as well, aren't I? Okay, well, let's just build the power lines while I run back up to base. Or rather, drive. Good work. Placed it and drove directly into it. Okay, that should be enough power. Oh, nearly forgot to pick up the engines, which was the whole reason for coming back up here. I mean, now that everything can be barreled and everything can be transported by train, I don't necessarily have to just burn the heavy and light oil that I'm going to be making initially. Even if this whole oil refinery setup is going to be temporary. Because I can always jam it on a train or just barrel it up or just pump it around some storage containers, really any one of those options. I 
mean, I probably should make a factory to make pipes because I'm going to need a whole ton of pipes. And let's also try and avoid cutting down too many trees because cutting down trees is a big old hassle. for input. Uh, gonna need a chemical plant. Oh no, I should maybe do maybe do two. Wait, how fast is plastic? Use up this. Uses 20 gas in one second. And it makes 40 in 5, so I guess one plant will be sufficient. And then, I guess storage tanks for now. Do them staggered or, or next to each other. Let's do them like this, and then we'll have this go over here instead. Coal, obviously, we can get down here. Also going to want to uh, have coal for the furnaces to make the iron. Okay, so if we're making two plastic in one second, except it's more like four plastic in five seconds because it's limited by the oil refinery. Four plastic in five seconds, and then that uses two in six, so that's like two advanced circuits in six seconds ish. So, two blue factories should be enough. circuits, two of each of those, and four, four copper wire. Oh, I'm out of iron again. Yeah, this isn't going to be the neatest arrangement, but it's 
all completely temporary, as always. Actually, I might be able to do this slightly differently if I move this over here. Like this, maybe. I'll have the iron go along here and then down. And the same for the cables. Although actually you want iron on the outside and cables on the inside, because then the cables can also Uh, come down here. Okay. I, I don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, that alien base that's clearly right there is kind of aggro a lot. I wonder if I should just go and clear that out. I mean, those guns have got like a hundred bullets in them at the moment, so that's not an immediate problem. Okay, so how much copper cable do I need? Four for those, three for those. It's four and six. So that's less than one a second. And that's three and a half, so that's six. So about seven, seven or eight per second. And that makes two and a half. So four factories. I'm probably wrong. I just doing this kind of maths in my head. Not always the best idea. Uh, that's not right at all, is it? If you can do it like that, you need to shift them up a bit further for the input. And then this will go around them. Coal will probably bring up here and then loop back around and then into the furnaces. Speaking of furnaces, I can't actually make any right now, can I? <laughs> no, I'm not carrying enough bricks. Okay, I need to go back and get some more bricks and iron. Maybe some more steel as well. Okay, good. And I'll grab some more cogs and circuits. So since I'm here, 
make it so one of these pipe factories outputs to a box. Oh, and I need more belts, don't I? Okay, good. One turret. No, it's just the end one. So let's do maybe. I don't know. How, don't even know how many furnaces I'm actually going to need. So let's just throw down some. Eight on each. Well, probably eight on copper and maybe four on iron might be enough. We'll bring the coal up here and then we'll split it on the way past the iron smelters. Activity two. Except that was free. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of just red green and even red green and and military. Let's do another round of bullet damage, I guess. So that'll be the copper smelting, and then iron smelting we'll just do over here. I said I wasn't going to cut down many trees, but I ended up doing it anyway. the iron come out the top maybe
Wait, I actually need another spitter, do I? Okay, let's set up some mines. How much iron is there in this iron patch? 106k. <laughs> And 1.3 million copper. I think I'm going to run out of belts again. Oh, uh, so built those too high up. and I'm carrying gears anyway, so that makes it relatively quick. Okay, that should more or less be everything we need. If I think, anyway. We'll see how it goes. So let's get some arms going. Let's actually connect up the miners first, so they can just start filling the belts up.
down this side. Make sure to not to accidentally connect into my solar powered scanner. Not that that's not that it's necessary to avoid connecting to it, but you may as well. I get the feeling two might not be enough for coal. Let's throw in two more. Inserters as well. Right, now we will get back to base. What do I need more of? Gears and inserters mainly. Oh, and belts. Oh, and I can also pick up some of these pipes. Well, maybe not all of these pipes. No, oh, pipes stack to 100 now, do they? Okay. That's nice. Okay, so we need fast inserters. Quite a lot of fast inserters. Okay, that should do. And then we're going to want fast and long. more than regular speed, I don't think. Right, how much more is that? Four in six? Yeah, that's fine. And then output into some boxes. Maybe not make too many of them. And, uh, yeah, coal. Oh, and transfer the plastic. Right. That looks like that should be everything we need. So 
let's start wiring it up. Let's see if this keeps up. I'm going to say probably by quite a large margin. <laughs> shooting speed for. Yeah, I think I probably massively overkilled that production. Might be able to run another oil factory, uh, oil refinery maybe. Do that. I mean, I guess. a slightly messy bit of pipes. Actually, I guess... Hmm. I guess they're actually not... Oops. Yeah, they're not actually fast enough to keep up with that, are they? What am I thinking? Put another red circuit factory here, maybe. That could potentially be a useful way to increase production. like that. Well, I guess I'll leave this second oil refinery in place just in case. I don't actually connect it up at the moment though.
Oh, wait, I missed the inserter. something new that they've added I just noticed there's a little counter for how many products the factory has made so you can see how many of the thing your factory has made in its lifetime as much useful information as that is I guess I suppose it's like a sort of a simplistic way of seeing if a factory is backed up or like not producing fast enough or doesn't have a clear belt or whatever You might be able to see it that way. Okay, so that's all good. We've got the red circuits up and running. And now... Uh, here comes some aliens. I should probably put some more ammo in, the, in these guns now that there's actually pollution down here. Alright, so now I'm going to go back into some more sped up footage as I continue working away at the new base, the new smelting line and all that stuff. And then sometime later I'll stick an ending to this video once I've got some more stuff to talk about. Alright. Go.
And we're back again. I'm currently here in the midst of adding some oil cracking procedures. Now that we have access to that. Uh, it's going to be a horrible mess, but it's fine. And you may have noticed during all that sped up footage that I really didn't get to do very much of this at all. None of the actual smelting lines got finished. I'd spent a long time making blue science uh, and futzing around in the main base. And now I'm down here doing this. So blue science <laughs> has happened, but the whole building the actual smelting lines thing has gone on hold again. I've also researched a whole bunch of stuff, including modular armor, so I'm going to want to... The main reason I'm upgrading this is so I can make batteries, so I can make personal roboports and actual roboports, and then I can vastly simplify the construction of all the stuff that I'm about to do, and the deconstruction of the old base. So let's see if I can finish up this little bit of uh, of oil cracking, and then I think that will be the end of the video. I ran out of pipes again. You always run out of pipes when you're doing oil. Never not running out of pipes. to move this. May as well grab all the red circuits while I'm getting them in my inventory. Alright. Probably don't especially need some research logistics robots right now. Is there anything else that I can do with blue science that would be worthwhile? Well, we can get substations, those are usually useful if I can build proper solar setups. Uh, if we have light oil go up there, then heavy oil is going to want to go there. And then light oil cracking. Probably something like this, maybe? No, oh, the light was on the right hand. Input. I need to shift those a bit further across. Does that make sense? Um, yes, but I might want to control the oil throughput. Do I want to circuit network it? Hmm. I mean, I could put circuit control to the inputs so that it empties the two storage barrels at a sort of even rate. Not really should be self regulating, though, because it will just do it as necessary whenever they get filled. As I, can, as I said before, this is all completely temporary and generally a horrible mess. That's 
probably adequate. Still probably won't need this second oil refinery. Because the cracking should significantly increase uh, the petroleum gas production. I might build one pump just to force it to flow this direction. I need to put that one square further back in case I do ever use that oil refinery. Uh, and that should be it, I think. So let's connect all this up with uh, the rest of the pipes. And the power lines. Fancy new pump. Yeah, that throughput's probably not going to be enough, is it? But luckily, now that I've researched modules, I can craft a couple of these and just smack them in there. Okay, so that's substations. Anything else we want to do with blue science? Just do another round of gun turret damage. back on. Alright. Jam light in here, just for the video purposes, so that when it's night you can actually see what's going on. Right, and we should be pretty much good. Except this isn't outputting for some reason. Oh, it's because I adjusted the iron line up here, didn't I? That was stupid. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to fix. I can just swap this out for an underground belt. Put this here. There, okay. Let's stick some speed modules in. Okay, gas is being made sufficiently fast. And that will probably do it for this episode. Um, next time, I'll probably be looking to get some robots online, which also means I'm going to have to do lubricant. Probably just over here somewhere, I don't know. Get some robots online, get my modular armor properly equipped, and then maybe we can finally get back to building the main smelting area. And that's it for this video. Swoop that social stuff on screen right now.
I still failed to memorise any of it. Wait, no, I think I've got it. Twitter, at Soundcast. Facebook, facebook.com slash happy... Happy Salad Net? Yeah, that sounds right. The words are on the screen for you. You don't need to try and work it out in your brain. And then happysalad.net is the website with the podcast. And that's the end of this video. End. Oof. Okay.